Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Broke Girls Art School. In today's episode, I will be showing you a time lapse of how I completed this Jerry Garcia burn. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment and I'll make sure to get back to you. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more of my future content and give it a like if you enjoyed it. Let's get started. So the first step that I took with this burn was blacking out all of the really dark areas. Um, the photo that I was basing this off of was in like a kind of pop art, very illustrative style. So I figured I'd want to get all of my solid blacks out of the way first. So now we're going in with the eyes. I am using my Colewood Super Pro 2 burner. I'll uh, tag a link below for the wood burner that I use. And I'm just using, I believe it was the heavy duty, the heavy duty round tip shader. Yeah, whenever I'm gonna be like making things really dark and like blacking them out, I like to use my heavy duty tip because it uh, just can handle a lot higher of temperatures for a longer period of time because the wire is a bit thicker than on the, uh, the regular round shader. Yeah, when I'm blacking things out, I do like to kind of go section by section and just knock little bits out at a time. I just feel like it ends up being smoother and it feels like it goes by a bit quicker. If you guys would like to see a tutorial on how I stencil my drawings onto wood, then I will tag another link in the description below. Yeah, I know you can see on the left the image that I'm using as reference for this. And I really, really loved transferring this style of art because it was just so much more readable on the piece of wood. I'm always a big fan of um, things that have a lot of contrast to them. So this was a really fun project. Yeah, the hair definitely took the longest for this one. <laughs> Quite a lot of solid black there. And if you're burning at a high temp, a couple things that you can do to uh, give you a little bit more time before your fingers start getting too hot is uh, wrapping. What I did with mine is I wrapped it with actually a paper towel and then I just put Scentsy Wrap around that. So it not only gave me a wider grip and lessened my hand cramping, but it, had, it made my fingers be a little bit further away from the tip so the heat wasn't as intense. And I usually always like to wear like a glove with the fingers cut off because it keeps my hand from smearing the graphite and it also keeps like oils from my hand from seeping into the wood. So now we're just doing a bold outline around the whole image. And that was with my liner pen from Coldwood Burners. Now I'm going in back with my round tip shader. I don't think this one was the heavy duty. That was just a regular round tip shader. And getting all of those mid, mid tones in. Yeah, 
yeah, for the lightest parts of the picture, I just decided to use the like natural tone of the wood. And I think just having three tones, like a light, medium, and dark, made this so much more readable and still a little bit like cartoony, but very, very readable. Going around the beard. And then always make sure you go through and erase the pencil off of your burn before you put any sort of sealant on it. Because it, yeah, it's not fun when you forget to erase the pencil off and then it's too late. tones in the hair, giving it a little bit more texture. A little close up for you. Now we're going in and just blacking out the shirt. Again, this design was really pretty simple, just using the different three tones. Um, at the bottom, I also put Jerry's name and his memorial dates at the bottom. So I actually went through with a pencil and uh, just hand drew on the name and then I dremeled where that was so that way it would contrast even more from the darkness of the shirt. And I like using the dremel because it just makes it come out really clean and you don't got to worry about any burnouts or anything like that. And here is the finished product. The only steps that were missing is I torched the dark to light in the background and then I did do a layer of Mod Podge on top to seal it. Thanks again for checking out my video guys.